We just made this reversible spring Easter front porch welcome sign using our Cricut and our Glowforge. And you could tell us who did it better right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, Builder, to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, spring is in the air. So you know what that means. It's front porch welcome sign battle. <laughs> yes, it's kind of a versus challenge. What we want to do is we're going to make two spring vertical signs. I'm going to make mine with the Cricut for my OGs. And I'm going to make mine with the Glowforge for all my Glowforge peeps. So at the end of this, you can vote and tell us which side you like better. The Glowforge side and Garrett's design, because he designed his. And then the Cricut side and my design, I designed mine. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We really just needed two six foot fence pickets. They're five and a half inches wide. These are the premium fixed fence pickets. So they have a nice smooth finish and they're dog eared. No sanding needed. We needed a smaller picket that's about three and a half inches wide. It's gonna be our cross braces. Then we needed some glue and some one and a quarter inch brad nails. And of course, we're gonna use our country chic paints. And I'm not sure if you can see it from there, but I basically have every spring color in the rainbow here. Quite an array. And we'll have to decide which ones of these we'll use and we'll share with you the colors. And then for my side, I will be stenciling mine. So I'm gonna use the Cricut Maker 3 and our Smart Vinyl in the Super removable. Super long. Yes, in the removable vinyl so that we can do one full 58 inch stencil. So I'm excited to see how that goes on. And for mine, I'm going to use some quarter inch MDF. That is it. That's it. That's it. So easy. Step two, we're going to make all of our cuts. It's really just two cuts. We're going to cut this small picket down to 11 and a quarter inches, two of them. I think we should make all of these cuts with my buddy. Pocket saw. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you don't have a pocket saw or you're intimidated by the saw, you can easily make these cuts with a miter box and a handsaw. And if you don't even have the miter box, you can make these cuts right there in Home Depot. I know Home Depot has it. I think Lowe's does yeah, too, right? Lowe's does too in the trim section. In the trim section, they have a miter box over there. Just measure it down to 11 and go ahead and make your cuts right there before you leave the store. That's really the only cuts you need to make for a vertical sign. Garrett's using a pencil that has no, <laughs> that is not sharp and has a broken tip, but he's dragging it across there if trying to make a mark. Push hard enough, you get a mark. <laughs> These match your hair. Oh, yeah, they totally match my hair. Safety first, Kim. Whoa. Step three, now we're gonna assemble the pickets. We have these two 11 and a quarter inch pieces. Now we're gonna space them from the bottom this wide and from the top this wide. I'm gonna use this as my little guide, my little spacer. Then we're just gonna hit it with a little bit of this Gorilla Glue, bloop bloop, and then nail it with a one and a quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. And if you don't have a brad nailer, you don't necessarily need to use a brad nailer. With this Gorilla Glue, it will hold these pickets on and hold them together. You'll just need to glue it and clamp it and then let it set for a bit. But don't get crazy with the glue because original Gorilla Glue does foam up and spread out. Looking good. Now, if your pickets are a little bit warped, sometimes these are and sometimes these aren't, these are pretty good. This one's a little bit higher. You can always put a, another brace in the back. Third piece. Yep, right in the back just to keep these things square. But I think we're good for this time. I think we're good. I don't think they're too bad. Sometimes they get really warped and you have to have it. <laughs> Step four. We're gonna paint the pickets. We're just gonna use some of this uh, country chic stuff. My one coat wonder. You could do it right on the picket. Oh yeah, I guess I could have done it right on the picket. For this, because you're just trying to coat the picket, you can paint right on there. He usually, 
it's not me, but usually he'll just pour it right on the picket. Yeah. I would do the same with, with what we're doing today. We're using Simplicity. We have a big jar of this. It goes really far though. You saw how much he put on the plate, probably quarter of a cup. Yeah, like a palmful. Now, since these are two spring signs, one's Easter, one's spring, we're gonna keep the whole thing white. We're gonna paint the front and back in this white. Step four, we're gonna cut out our designs. I'm gonna take this quarter inch MDF over to the Glow Forge. I'm gonna use the thick draft board settings to cut out my design. And then, like I said, I'm gonna use this removable vinyl, the smart vinyl, so that I can make one long 58 inch stencil with mine. And I'll do that on our Cricut Maker 3. Six. Now we're gonna paint our design. Well, Kim's gonna lay her design down on the board and we'll paint it. And then I'm gonna paint all my little pieces. I got a bunch of little pieces and parts. A lot of pieces and parts. A lot. So because I'm using the stencil, we're gonna put the stencil on the front and then he'll put the Glowforge pieces on the back because he'll have the I room. Can space them out. Yeah, to spread them out because the stencil will have to stay between the braces. On the back, there are no braces, so he can use the whole length of the board. You don't want to pull up on this. You want to pull back like we're doing right here because if you pull up, you'll stretch the vinyl and if you stretch the vinyl, it won't make a good seal for a stencil. And in some of these places where it actually crosses the two pickets, ours isn't completely flat. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the vinyl there so I will get a nice seal on either side. We're just gonna add a little matte Mod Podge, create a little barrier around the, like the stencil outer edge, so the paint won't leak under. No bleed, no bleed. No bleed. Just a thin coat, just creating a little barrier. Mod Podge is down. Next we can start painting. The letters are all the same color? Yes, I'm gonna do them all in whoop de doo whoop de doo And then Hello is going to be in Rustic Charm. Mm. In this green. Makes sense. All right, so you All wanna right. start down there? Yeah, I'll do the letters. I'll start up here. We're gonna use our little makeup sponges and we're just gonna dab this paint on. You don't wanna swipe because it'll get it up under the stencil, so dabbing seems to be the best technique. Now I'm gonna use Vintage Cupcake to paint my flowers. For my little bird at the top here, I wanna make him purple, uh, but opulence, which is a beautiful color, is just a little too dark for the spring sign. And then mermaid's tail, which is a light purple, is a little too light for this spring sign. I just feel like it's gonna lose its color. So I mixed a little mermaid's tail and a little opulence together, and I've got a, like a medium color purple. For our little bees, we're gonna add the stripes using these Sharpie paint markers. Just gonna add it right on the edges of the stencil. You might have to help me make sure this looks right. Time for the reveal. Pull against the green to try to pull up as little paint as uh, possible. Six B. Ooh, now I'm gonna paint all of my little pieces. I got a bunch of little pieces, my letters are ready. I'm still cutting out my, uh, my Easter eggs, but I have all my other little pieces. So we're gonna start painting while I'm still cutting. Let's Ooh, do it. You feeling it? Yeah. Mm, get it, babe. Seven. Now we're gonna glue it down. I have all my little pieces and parts painted. See them all? Look at my eggs, looking tight. Now we're gonna <laughs> lay it out and glue it down. We're just gonna use this Starbond thick, thick stuff. 
sets in seconds. Step eight, and now we have the accents. <laughs> my side is looking so hot, I don't need any accents. But, but my side needs this cute spring ribbon. And since I'm not gonna wrap it all the way around because his sign goes all the way to the top, I'm just gonna add it right here. And we're gonna staple it. Plan B, hot glue gun. Oop. It's brand new staple gun. I don't know how to use it yet. <laughs> All right, who did it better? My side? Look at this, popping. Kim's side. Or my side. Very colorful, but yes. flat. No, flat. well, I mean, it is stenciled, but look how cute it is. And look at this little bird singing. That, that look is at cute. That, that is a cute little bird. And a little bow on top. That That's a cute sign. That is a cute sign, but I just feel like mine is like just the elegance. This is <laughs> Easter elegance. <laughs> Excellence. Egg <laughs> That doesn't work. Agulence. Agulence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. I don't know. Nope. It's tall enough. I'm going to have to squat. I'm going to have to get low. Get low. Oh, this is harder on the thighs than it is on the <laughs> How are those thighs feeling? Ooh. Ooh, out of shape, that's how they're feeling. <laughs> <laughs>